Joining us, we have Susie Bates, Tina Goff, and Tirta. Uh, Susie, welcome back. Uh, nice to be back. Yeah, it was great. I was really excited this morning to feel fit and healthy and get back out there with the girls. And yeah, disappointing that we got the loss, but I thought we bowled really well and um, bowled to our fields. And with the bat, we were pretty good for the first half, but it just fell away there at the end. Uh, is it sort of bittersweet mixed emotions? Obviously, a loss here, but you have got that spot in the semi finals now. Yeah, I guess we knew that coming into the game, so it was an important toss to win, and we felt that was our best chance of getting the bonus point. But look, it would have been nice to have won the game as well. But yeah, happy to know that we're going through the semi finals because I think the squad deserves that. Yeah, and Tirtha, what's it been like to be part of this side and to have someone like Susie back at the helm of it? It's incredible. I mean, you get to know so much, like I've said before as well. Like, you get to see the routines and how they practice. And of course, I've had a chat with Susie as well, and she's uh, taught me a lot outside the field through the And obviously, you've qualified for the final. How much does that mean to you? The semi finals. Oh, God, I'm getting ahead of myself. You've qualified for the semi finals. How much does that mean to you? It does mean a lot, but I mean, we have one more match remaining, and I hope we win that, and we'll be looking forward to the next match and trying to win that match before we go into the semis. Uh, and Tina, obviously the same for you, there's only a few of you representing Germany out here, so what does that mean to you to have that spot in the semi-final and represent your nation in there as well? Oh, it means a lot um, to fly the flag for Germany, even at this tournament is amazing, and to make the next step to the semi-final, it's even better. We're looking forward to the game tomorrow first, hopefully finish the group stage strongly and then, yeah, on to the semi-finals. What does it mean for cricket in Germany as a whole? How is it growing and will it look at this tournament and your involvement and be able to boost it based on that? Definitely. So it's still a small sport in Germany. Obviously, football there is so huge that it's hard for cricket to compete. But we're definitely growing. Um, the number of clubs is growing every year. Um, so to have a spotlight on us like this at this tournament is amazing and hopefully inspires more girls in Germany to pick up a bat and take up cricket. Yeah, and are lots of people watching back in Germany? That's yeah, I think there's a few people watching. There was games at the weekend where they then put on the TV afterwards and followed us. So, yeah, really happy for everyone that's um, watching us back home. And so looking ahead to your next game and then the semi-finals, what do you need to work on from here? Yeah, I thought we were actually really good for 16 overs with the ball. Um, you know, there are a few mistakes in the field, which I'm sure we'll fix. But um, I think with the bat, it's just making sure that we, we keep being aggressive and really, really, really back ourselves. But all in all, I thought... You know, the way we bowled first up, we gave ourselves a chance to win that game, but we weren't quite good enough and lost too many wickets, and maybe we'll stay in our crease next game. Um, <laughs> the battle against Sun Amir, I can't not bring that one up. How did it feel to be stuck off the wily old Sun Amir there? Uh, yeah, a little bit annoying. I, I'm not going to hear the end of that, in particular the fact that it was a leg spinner, so she loves bowling that at the moment. So she really did me in the air and um, I almost got back in with my hand which was an unusual way to get back but yeah she bowled really well today and was turning the ball and had a lot of us stumped so we'll look at how we play spin um, tomorrow and make sure we do that better. Yeah and how good was the leader behind the stumps today? Yeah very tidy and I've been really impressed with her for bat too she's um, really aggressive and yeah she's a nice player so that's what this tournament's all about and we've seen lots of players step up. I thought Anju today bowling off her four overs was brilliant for us and she's been brilliant all tournament and these two with the bat it was great to see them out in the middle and we've got lots of left handers which is nice. And talking of stepping up in your absence we've had Danny Wyatt leading the side do you think she did a fab job because we thought she was pretty good. Yeah she was great and I we thought we might pay as a rock for who does this game but she didn't want to do it apparently so yeah no it was great to have her out on the field it was actually nice to have her out on the boundary because she's one of the best fielders in the world out there so yeah we've got lots of experienced players and Asa Pasu could have done it as well so and we're lucky in that regard. Yeah, and so you've got those seniority, you've got people coming through, you've got people surprising everyone. So the Falcons are still looking in good stead. If you could just get the last win on the board, get that momentum going into the semi-finals, will you, feel, will you be feeling good after that? Yeah, I think so. You want to go into semi-finals with some wins under your belt and some momentum, but the fact that we're there is a bonus and we just want to play good cricket and see everyone get opportunities.